All right, this one's a pretty long one, guys. It's a three on three. I queued into tier eight, and this is very common of what you're getting at tier eight for matches now. Uh, but I figure it'll be a good match to show you how to fight uh, ground attack and others in uh, a light fighter. Uh, the La 9 certainly can get up in altitude, but in this instance, two of my enemies are going to be low on the ground, uh, so I actually start quite low. Um, I'm happy to find the Hornet as early as I do in the match here, and uh, as you can see, I want to kind of feel him out and see what he's going to be doing. In this particular instance, he is uh, he made a pass, and he's going not trying to turn fight me, which does not bode well for me in this. Um, so right now I'm watching what's going on. They have killed one of my ILs. The other IL luckily has not been spotted and has turned away. So as soon as I see their ILs going into our green, my idea is to um, start my assault on them. Now I know the Hornet's still there, uh, but I can maneuver much better than the Hornet at altitude. So you'll see here that between the ill 20 the ill 10 and the hornet that i do a lot of dodging a lot of moving around a lot of angling on what's there to avoid tail guns and uh in my opinion uh, what needs to be done in this instance uh, which is mainly to avoid the tail guns you'll see a couple of times i actually choose to be in front of the various planes rather than behind because i can make the pilot miss and the front guns are pretty terrible uh, but i cannot make uh, the tail gunner miss so like right here i don't even try chasing i realize he's got his rear to me which is his best option so i move um i will watch and comment any further on again you can see I'm in the, the front of this one I'm watching the Hornet uh, I'm watching the ILs I'm trying to stay out of the tail guns you can see the come down in a second boost. once I get the angle this I'm watching mainly on the minimap to see what they're doing and uh, again Bill 10 firing at me. See the shells going all around. He's probably got his pipper right on me for that, all of that and doing barely any damage. Of course, watching for the Hornet each time that he makes his pass. Another front on attack by the Ill. I'm actually watching to dodge here, and you'll see the Ill 20 made a mistake. Allowed me in. Allowed me in behind him. The way, he, the way he was turning, I was actually above him because he was trying to outturn me in there. So, you can see the L10 broke off and the Hornet is there. Uh, at this point, I notice that we have a superiority advantage. One of the advantages of having our L8 over and hitting ground targets. Uh, versus me keeping the other two ILs busy in this time frame now. Uh, as you can see in chat, I've asked our ill 8 to turn around because I know he's going to be a target for that Hornet. I'm trying to gain energy at this point, cool down my engine, get some altitude so I can start working on this Hornet uh, now that I don't have to worry so much about uh, losing out on superiority. So beginning of the match, I did notice that I have the same speed as the Hornet, um, and so by allowing myself to get this energy here, uh, once I get on the tail of this Hornet, uh, I really don't have much to worry about. So, let's see me. Once he dives down, uh, the way that I follow the Hornet up is nice. I, I do get it. Uh, my guns cool or overheated, but see once this hornet's down the match is pretty much over and I just harass the ill 10 from being able to hit any ground targets further the hornet had used up all of its boost and it lets itself 
stall. Uh, its best move was actually not to climb there since it didn't have enough energy. It would have rather just fly to the south, uh, close to the ground, make me chase it further. Um, keep me out of the match. Uh, pretty hard once they lost their ill 20 anyways. Now this time, uh, my thoughts are, we're winning. So I don't have a huge need to go attack the ill 10 um, but I'm comfortable based on what I saw earlier that I'm going to be able to kill him. So even with my 80 some odd hit points that I have, um, I'll go and, and do the attacks. You, know, you don't always have the advantage of having superiority when you're fighting ILs. Uh, so you have to keep your hit point idea, or your hit points in, in mind, and the superiority bar in mind for how often you want to make your attacks, what angles you want to go at, if you want to expose yourself to that tail gunner, etc. In this instance, I'm just trying to mostly keep him from attacking anything on the ground. Uh, if I can keep that superiority meter climbing, I'm doing my job. He's doing a pretty good job keeping himself, his tail gunner in position, and keeping himself in position to uh, do some damage to me. But that doesn't leave him any time to keep up the score. accidentally hit the ground and uh, keep yourself as much out of the tail gunner's range as possible if he wants to turn in on you uh, attack him from above and it's the above of his plane so if he wants to keep his tail to you get your altitude and uh, once you get past him come down from the sides 